Hi, I'm Craig Grant and this is Cobweb Maths where we use patterns to make connections. In this video I'll show you how to subtract positive and negative numbers and I'll give you two tests to do at the end of the video. Now it doesn't matter if you make mistakes because you need to remember that when you make mistakes your brain grows. Alright, have a look at this. This is the pattern. We start at 3 and we subtract 3 and we get 0. Then we go to 3 and we subtract positive 2 and we get 1. 3 and subtract positive 1 and we get 2. And we just work our way down here. 3 subtract 0 is 3. 3 subtract negative 1 is 4. 3 subtract negative 2 is 5. And 3 subtract negative 3 is 6. As we reduce the amount we subtract, down here, the amount over here gets bigger, so when we come down here we add 1. When we go from the bottom up, we subtract 1. Now, you could, in actual fact, do it on the number line when you're just subtracting a positive. Like you start at 3 and then you just go down 1, 2, 3 places and there it is. Start at 3 and go down 2, so you get to 1 and so on. When you uh, get to 3 and subtract 0, you stay there. Then, when you subtract negative 1, you go the opposite. You go, you go 1 up. Right. Now, here it is. See down here? 3 subtract negative 1 is the same as 3 plus 1, which is 4. 3 subtract negative 2 is the same as 3 plus positive 2, which is 5. 3 take away negative 3 is the same as 3 plus positive 3. Um, when subtracting a negative, you just add the positive. Now, what I've done here is I've, these are all subtraction problems, which I've just changed to addition problems. So all, all you have to do when subtracting a negative, just add the opposite. Now here's the idea of an opposite. The opposite of negative 3 is 3. The opposite of 4 is negative 4. And the opposite of 0 is 0. Now, I'm going to go to the auntie story. Alright, I'll just turn this around here. Now, I'll tell you the auntie story. Fred had a birthday and he had, he only had uh, $40. He actually had $50, but he had a $10 bill. Um, you see, if we take $40, $40 is equal to, is it like positive 40? Positive 40 is positive 40 plus 0. Now, positive 10 and negative 10, they'll cancel out. They're the same as 0. So, if you had $50 and you owed $10, it would be the same as not owing anything and having 40 Anyway, this particular day, his auntie visited him because it was his birthday and she pulled out her purse and she said, for your birthday I'll give you $10. So she gave him $10. Think of he, if he had $40 and she gave him $10, he'd have $50. However, it didn't quite work out that way. What happened was, auntie opened up her purse and she didn't have, a ten, uh, she didn't have any money in it. Um, and, and there's Fred sitting there with $50 and he's got a $10 bill and he's going to go into town and he's going to pay. And auntie had a bright idea. She said, I'll tell you what Fred, she said, just give me that $10 bill and I'll pay it for you for your birthday. So what she did, she subtracted the $10 bill. It's like taking away negative 10. So there's Fred, he's sitting with $50 and he's got a $10 bill and auntie comes along and takes away the $10 bill. So it's gone. And Fred is left with $50. And that's, uh, that's how the auntie story works. Now it's time for you to do a test. The first test. So you make sure you've got something to write on. And uh, I'm going to swap boards. Put that board over here. 
and we'll put up test one. Here's test one here. Uh, write down the questions, uh, then pause the video. Get the questions. The first question is, uh, let's see, where's my, my pointer? All the first six ones start with positive four, and the first one is positive four, take away positive two, then you take away positive six, you take away negative three, you take away negative five, and you take away positive four, and you take away negative four. All right? And then for the next four, you start with negative five. This one here, you subtract positive three, subtract positive six, subtract negative three, and you subtract negative seven. So I'll leave this here for a minute while you um, write that down then you need to pause the video and I will go through the answers all right now here are the answers to test one what I've done is I've changed all these subtracting questions to addition questions but you could use them do them using the number line well, I mean, basically, that's just four take away two. If you're at four and you take away two, you get two. That is four take away six. You're at four, you go down six. There's four, then another two, that'll be negative two. Now, here's the one. Four subtract negative three is the same as four plus positive three, which is seven. Four take away negative five is four plus positive five, which is nine. And four take away four, or positive four take away positive four, is zero. And here, 4 take away negative 4 is 4, positive 4, plus positive 4, which is positive 8. And this one here, negative 5 take away positive 3 is like negative 5 plus positive 3. So if you're at negative 5 and you go down 3 more, you'll get to negative 8. And this is negative 5 take away positive 6, which is negative 5 plus positive 6. So if you're at negative 5 and you drop down 6, you'll end up down here at negative 11. And negative 5 subtracting from negative 3 becomes negative 5 plus positive 3. If you're positive 3 and you drop down 5, 3 to there, another 2, it's negative 2. And negative 5, uh, take away negative 7 is negative 5 plus positive 7. So positive 7 is around about here. And if you drop down 5, you'll end up here at 2. Now we've got test 2. And this is another opportunity for you to get it all right. Now, the first five questions start with positive five. It's positive five, take away positive three. Positive five, take away positive six. Positive five, take away negative three. Positive five, take away negative seven. Positive five, take away positive five. Positive five, take away negative five. Negative, now, these Four down here, we'll start with negative four. Negative four, take away positive two. Negative four, take away positive six. Negative four, take away negative two. Negative four, take away negative six. Now, you get all those copied down. Uh, you then pause the video, work them out, start the video again, and look at what the answers are. Here are the answers for test two. First question, very straightforward, it's just like 5 take away 3, which is 2. The next question is 5 take away 6. Well, you're at 5, and you go down 6, you'll end up at negative 1. Uh, what you can do is, if you're taking away something bigger from something smaller, you take the small thing away from the big thing and make the answer negative. So 5 off si from 6 is 1, and the answer's got to be negative. So the next one. When you are subtracting a negative, add the positive. It's 5 plus 3, which is positive 8. We're going to put the positives there. Positive, positive, and positive. Um, next one down, 5 subtract negative 7 is 5 plus 7, which is positive 12. Positive 5 take away positive 5 is 0. Positive 5 take away negative 5 is positive 5 plus positive 5, which is positive 10. Negative 4 subtract 2. You're at negative 4 and you go down 2, uh, you end up with negative 6. It's like uh, having 4 uh, in the bank you owe $4 in your account and if it, 
the account drops down another two, you'll owe six. That there, you're at four dollars, and you drop down another six, you owe four dollars, drop down another six dollars, you end up owing ten dollars. Here, it's negative four, subtract negative two, which is negative four plus positive two, which is negative two. And negative four, subtract negative six is negative four plus positive six. So if you're at six and you go down four, you'll end up at positive two. And we're done. Remember, if you've got something wrong here, you should come back and do it in a day or two's time or in a couple of weeks to reinforce what you've learned. Now, the brain needs time to assimilate the information so that it's got it, it's got it all there in its head so it can, you've got it all in your head so you can use it. Uh, go, revisiting the video will be very helpful. Uh, it'll help you remember it and you'll remember it better.